welcome to our how-to on fats. Uh, today we are going to be talking about why uh, adding fats into your diet is super important. Um, so it's going to be a Q&A style. So I'm going to ask Adam a couple questions. Fats do get a bad rep, so we are going to give you the skinny on fats. So for our first question today, Adam, can you explain why it is important to add fats into your diet? So fats are important for a variety of reasons. Um, one thing is that um, a lot of times the vitamins that you're getting in your food or any kind of supplementation vitamins you're taking, some of those vitamins are fat soluble, meaning that it needs to be attached to a fat to be delivered and absorbed. So getting a little bit of fat with that is going to just help you absorb and utilize those to your best abilities. Um, what's also great about fats is they provide cushion and lubricant for your joints, so that's gonna help reduce pain and just help you move more freely. Um, and also fats are an energy source that your body is using um, throughout the day, so it's gonna help you just have better brain function. Um, in early development, especially with children, it's great for um, brain and just growth. So um, fats are just going to provide a lot of variety of aspects that are gonna be beneficial for the whole body. Great, so there are, um good and bad fats out there, the good and the healthy and the unhealthy. Uh, so how can I differentiate between those two? So a couple ways I like to look at it is um, our healthy fats are going to come mostly from plant sources. So um, there's a couple in specific and those things are mono and polyunsaturated fats. What those are are basically our kind of nuts and seed oils, things like olive oil, canola oil, sunflower, um, and then you could even get some of those from um, fatty things like fish. Um, but what those provide are these things called omega-3s and 6 um, fatty acids that are good for heart health and they're just going to provide you a lot of benefit and bang for your buck. The unhealthy fats are coming mostly from our animal sources and that they're going to be a little bit higher in saturated fat. So things like butter, lard, um, some of our like fattier cuts of meats like bacon, um, our processed um, meats like sausages and things like that. So um, we want to kind of steer clear from some of those. And then there's also another element of our unhealthy fats that we really want to stay away from, and those are called trans fats. Um, those you typically see in um, things like baking, so um, any of your spreads, margarine, anything that's been created outside to just be more efficient for cooking for fried foods or baking. Um, we want to stick a little bit more towards those natural sources from the plants. Great. And last question, how can I determine what a healthy fat is by reading the food label? So if you look at your um, food label, a lot of times it'll break down the total fat, which is good to know because um, fat is a little bit more calorie dense. There's nine calories per gram compared to only four from a carbohydrate or protein. So when you're consuming fats, you want to make sure that you're consuming those in moderation just so that you're not getting a surplus and leading into weight gain and obesity. Um, when you start to break it down, they even have additional segments of the fat that tells you how many saturated or trans fats there are. So um, we want to really limit um, the saturated and trans fats if you're comparing labels. A lot of times you can figure out which one's going to be a little bit healthier option. You can even look at the ingredient list and look for a lot of those, what we were talking about earlier, the seed oils, the olive and canola, um, avocado oils, all of those things um, are going to be just a little bit healthier than some of our more processed oils. Um, one last thing is that um, when looking at your food labels, um, you just wanna make sure that, um, again, the calories are being consumed in moderation um, so that you're just having a good balance. Great. Well, that was the skinny on fats. We hope that you at least took away with some really important tips and tricks to adding in those healthy fats into your diet. If you have any questions, please see a staff member and we'll help you out.